Feel the bloodlust. for a pathetic creature. So yeah, that's what the, this build can do. So let's just go straight into the build. So the guns I'm using for the pistol, it's a King's Call. There's also another one called Queen's Call and I'm pretty sure they are exactly the same. I may be wrong though. So the good thing with this pistol is that it's a Jacobs. And it does have critical hit, returns three bullets to your mag, and ricochets three bullets at nearest enemy. Which is just insane. And if we look at the mag size, it's only six bullets, and it does consume three ammo per shot. Which means you can only shoot twice, right? But if you get some mag size on your gear, you can get that up a bit, right? So I have eight bullets now, which means I can shoot it, not two, but three times. So if you manage to get some mag size so you get 7 bullets, you will be able to shoot 3 times. Which in some cases could be really useful. But I don't think it's the biggest deal though. And more on the gun, critical hit damage. And yeah, of course you got the, the flesh modifier on this one as well. Which is really really good, especially for, for most bosses, right? Then the sniper I was using was the Lydia, the Molten Vicious one which have uh, fire elemental which is really good and I actually got this uh, upgrade today when I was getting some footage for this video the one I had before was uh, this one so I got one more mag size and quite some more damage but to be honest I would like a lower mag size because then you could get a higher weapon damage roll but it have critical hit damage plus 33 weapon damage, minus weapon accuracy, and yeah, 21 weapon fire rate. So the insane thing with this one, the Lydia Sniper, which probably a lot of you guys know that plays uh, Borderlands uh, 2, right? It's a full auto sniper. I shoot one bullet now, but you hold the trigger and... Drrr, crazy, right? So in combination with Flak, this gun is just insane because you can just yeah get the bullets back for a crit right and also for this weapon it's good to get the mag size up which means more bullets and easier to to not consume them all so yeah instead of having 16 like i should i do have 22 so that definitely helps there's also a few other versions of uh, lydia this one for example which have way more damage 938 times two because it consumes two ammo per shot but then again, like consuming 2 ammo per shot, you go out of ammo so quick. So you might have to reload. And I have a few leaders, so so if you wonder where it drops, it actually drops from the boss that I just uh, showed in the video called, called Grave Ward. And also a world drop. And the pistol as well, it dropped from the, the last boss I did there. which is uh, Tyrene. So you can actually target farm both of those. And then we have Burning Flackery, which I did not show in the video, but that, it's pretty good as well for boss damage. If you can actually hit them, right? But this build is mainly 
gonna focus on Lydia and King's Call because I think those two are the best, especially in the hands of Flak. So yeah, if we check the, the artifact here, I have two different builds, I guess, for the pistol and the sniper. So let's see what I have equipped. So I do have the one for sniper equipped right now. So this artifact is not the best, but it does have 31 sniper rifle damage and 10 Vladov weapon damage, which gives me 41 sniper damage. That's why I'm using it. The rest on it though, it's not good at all. Like, if you want to have the best artifact for boss fights, you want to have this one here. Flak has a 3% chance to activate any purchase hunt kill skills when dealing gun damage. That one is insane. So the one I use for the pistol, I think I got it today as well. Mm, let's see where it is. Oh, this one, which is crazy. Where is it, this one? I'm not sure. That one is really good too, though. Because it have a three fangs and two for the other green talent there. Yeah, okay. So this one was the one that I used for the sniper that I got today. So 10 Jacob's weapon damage, which is good. And then 45 Jacob's weapon critical damage, which is crazy. And on top of that, it gives me two for fang skill, which is 10% extra chance to get an extra projectile. And then the green one, I'm not sure what it's called there, but it gives you eight uh, gun damage. So that's the one I've used for the pistol. But it's the flak and their pet deals 35% additional damage against enemies above 75 health. You'd rather want to have this one. Flak has a 3% chance to activate any purchased hunt kill skills. And bosses are now treated as humans, beasts, and robots for flak hunt, hunt uh, skills. Which we get into later. So that's the class mods I use. And if we look at the artifact, I think something that's really nice for this type of build is to have mag size. So 40 mag size and 17 sniper damage, which is yeah perfect for a sniper build. Of course, the rest on it is not that good. And for the pistol one, I think I'm using this one. Yeah, I use this one here. 40 mag size plus 16% incendiary damage and it fires three cryo projectiles that damage and pass through enemies. So more damage. But I could definitely get a better for the pistol one. I actually got the pistol today, so I haven't really been able to tweak it better. But you could have pistol damage here, for example. And yeah, I don't think this is too important though. I think just having mag size is definitely nice though. But if you have a Lydia or the pistol, that will be fine. When it comes to the shield, what I've been using a lot just for fun is health rerouter. When fully charged, the next shot drains 50 shields to deal 120 bonus amp damage. And return it as health just to get more damage but i feel like having uh, the shield that i have here was a bit better in some cases when the modifiers were bad and the boss actually could damage me but if the boss can't damage you having like a amp shield is is really nice for some additional damage right so let's go into the skill tree i actually use two different versions of this and both works really good i guess it depends more on uh, the situation right but let's go through the crucial stuff here. Like you definitely want to have leave no trace. If you have a class mod that gives more, perfect, perfect. Depending on if you have, if you have that artifact that I talked about that activates hunter kill skills, it's actually really good to spec into kill skills. If you see in the top left there, hunter kill skill, hunter kill skill. Since I'm not going to kill any NPCs when I fight bosses, I won't activate those, but there's a 3% chance for every bullet I hit that I get, uh, that I proc one of those, right? So having the most dangerous game and uh, this one right here and even Hunter's Eyes here because uh, this one gives bonus for humans, robots and beasts. And since that one makes uh, the boss act as a human, robot and beast, you get all three bonuses. But I'm not going to spec my version right now for that, but just keep that in mind. Specking those is really good. If you have a good, uh, if you have a good uh, item for that. I don't know why we started with that tree. <laughs> we're going to go back to the this tree right here. So we're going to equip fade away. And then we're going to spec five points into furious attack. And then we're going to grab uh, gorillas in the mist, which changes your fade away a bit. So instead of, uh, so when you shoot three bullets, you usually go out of fade away. But with this, you can shoot how much you want and it will still stay in fade away. Downside is that you go from 200 crit damage to 50, but it's not a big deal, especially with the fast firing weapons we have, right? So that's definitely worth. Then we're going to spec 5 points into Overclocked, which gives us a 10% fire rate. 
then turn tail and run, which is really good, because when you stand still, flag gains gun damage and fire rate. So when we stand still, 25% damage, which is uh, crazy. Then we need to get two more points to get to hit the machine. So we're going to spec two points into this one right here. So we get more HP. And hit the machine gives you 6% more damage when an enemy has no target or is attacking a different target. If you're soloing, you'll be probably thinking, oh, but they're always going to target me. But when you go in fade away, they don't have a target. So you still get this damage. So spec everything in there. And now we, we still want to get all the way down there. So we're going to put the three points into the Fast and the Furious, which is really good as well. While above half health, flags, gun damage, and movement speed are increased. So that's 25% damage when we are above half health, right? Which, I mean, boss fights are going to be full HP most of the time. So we really want to get all the way down here, which means we need to spec two more points. So you could go two points into cell repairing, but I'm going to spec into lick the wounds, I think, because then you can get revived. But what you do with these points here, the two points, up to you. So we're going to spec one there, one more into cell repairing. Then we get the power inside, which is 25 damage when flag activates an action skill, which is fade away. And this build, yeah, it depends on that. And if flak is at full HP, the increased damage is double. So that's 50%, which is crazy. Then that tree is uh, completely done. Oh, I, I missed something. <laughs> Not done. And then, yeah, we spec all the way there. So we get unblinking eye, which is 75 critical hit damage per hit, stacking up to three, right? Or it resets every three hits. So really, really good when you spam. And I usually pick up the damage one here because I just want to have damage. So the damage here, but whatever you pick up here, it's up to you really. So then we're back to the hunter tree. We put three points into leave no trace for the chance to add ammo, which is crucial for this build. Then we have two more points. Reload speed. It could definitely be nice with this depending on the boss. But let's just focus on damage, but wherever you put these two points here, it's up to you. I would say like if you use the item that give you 100 kill skills, then you should definitely go interplanetary stalker, right? But if you don't, then go reload speed. So I'm going to put it into reload speed. And same thing here as well. If you use that artifact, then use hunter's eye because then you get all those crazy bonuses against bosses. And yeah, that's crazy. But you don't have to use that one if you don't have one. I'm gonna put three points into head count, which is super good as well. For every critical hit, there's a chance that the action skill cooldown is reduced. Since it's all about crit hits, we're definitely gonna spec into that. Like two seconds with a 30% chance. Yeah, really good. Then we have ambush predator. While there is no enemies nearby, flag weapon handling and critical hit damage are increased. I'm not sure how close they have to be. But I'm specking into that. Two points. Then we're going to Fang, which adds 25 extra projectile chance. And for my other build, I do have, so I get 15% more, which puts me at 40% chance for extra projectile chance, just because of the mod, which is crazy. Because shooting an extra projectile, that's double the damage, right? So, yeah. And then we're all the way down here. And once again, if you go for the Hunter Artifact, you want to spec into Dangerous Game, right? But we, since we're not doing that, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to put my points into this one. And then we still need some more points. Actually, I wonder if that was the right move. Like you can spec this a bit different. Because I could spec three points into I, I I need three points in here, right? And I expect... I don't think we can reach this uh, right here. Because we only have one point left. So I guess I can put those there. But something like that. Like, this one is really important. Persistent Hunter. Because it gives your fade away 45% longer duration and more gun damage. 
But I think this is one version of the build if you don't have the artifact. If you do have the artifact, you definitely want to prioritize to spec into all these hunter kill skills. This one is not a kill skill though, but as I said, it counts as humans, robots, and beasts. And this one is a kill skill. Like this one gives 24 damage. Just, just the damage buff, it's crazy for two minutes. And then you could spec into this one as well, which would increase the hunter skill duration for 100% of the time, right? Which means you have them up all the time. And yeah, like I would say if you have the artifact, I would spec more into this tree right here. For sure. So I would spec into that. Like I probably I wouldn't spec into this one. Maybe this one is not as important as well. So I would take those eight points, put those in Stalker, Hunter's Eye. Then I would spec most dangerous game, big game. And I guess the rest here is really good too. Spec everything there. Then in this tree, you would uh, spec less points basically. You spec as good as you can here. So going through the other spec quick here. Put in that. So we really do need that one. Which we're gonna put five there. Pick that one. We really need three points there as well. We need three there. Five there. Three there. Need five there. Three there. Three there. I'm not sure. Maybe that one is not. I mean, it decreases the effect as well, which means more damage. We have 15 points left, so we should actually be good. We can spec there, there, there. And uh, that one as well. Three crits are always good. So we have six points left. Which means, damn, it would be really nice to spec in here. I'm just doing this on the fly. But more fire rate, which I actually think could be a bit worse, maybe. Like, of course it's good though. I'm not sure like how this one works. But I think this one could be good, giving you more weapon handling when you're spamming. Because sometimes there actually is some recoil. I don't feel like I personally have a problem with it though. But I know some people have more issues with that. But you could spec it in there. But yeah, I guess the where you put the rest of the points is up to you. You can put it there, put one there, which I don't really think it's worth. I probably would have rather put it in here then. But that's like the other version, I guess, right? I would definitely prefer the first one though. Kind of depending on the boss though, but I mean all the buffs you get are insane. Like you would have this one on all the time versus a boss. 50 more crit damage, 30% more armor. If the, the boss have armor though. And 22% uh, damage reduction all the time against the boss. So. But yeah, that's basically the, the skill trees though. But I don't think there's much more to talk about. That's uh, basically the builds though. Sadly, like I don't have a good uh, a good mod for this one. But yeah, like the pistol one I have, it's just crazy. That I just got today. Where did it go? That one is crazy too if you look what I get like uh, ability wise. But yeah, this one is not bad either. But it have two into that pet thing, which is not good. But the rest, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. But anyway, that's, that's the build. I hope I didn't forget anything. And hope you guys enjoyed the video. And stay tuned for more Borderlands uh, free videos on the way. And see you in the next video.